Where's it? That's what I was. That was my first thing I noticed was there's no intro at all. This is it. So if we have anything to criticize this for, it's there's no intro like there is in the old version, which sucks. There should they? Should, I don't know why they didn't do an intro. They did their silly cartoons and shit for promoting the game, but they didn't put an actual intro into the game. So I'm kind of bummed about that. I was kind of looking forward to it, to be honest. I wanted to see what their take was going to look like. But they didn't do it. Hopefully, maybe they will. Now, let's see. There is an editor, but I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what this... I don't even... I guess I have to read the manual to see what this stuff actually do, does, but I don't care. So, we'll worry about that later. Now, if I was watching their, the dev stream earlier this morning, too, just before the game released, and they were talking about how there's going to be mods and stuff, or this game is moddable. So it'll be interesting to see what people do with it. Yes, the MOM dev, the M Master of Magic devs are from Poland. We just talked about that, Juros. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, Jurosik. Jurosik. Yeah, sorry for screwing up your name. Interest is so 80s, yes. But the intro is cool for this game. Yeah, there's that. this game's gonna have mod support, so it'll be cool. Uh, settings. <laughs> what settings? This is your video settings. <laughs> World quality, low, medium, and high. You get your resolution. FPS tops out at 60, not a big deal. Audio, no big deal. Hotkeys, I don't even remember those. Other stuff. Auto save, every turn. Is every turn? Eh, I guess. Sure, why not? AI animation speed. One, whatever that means. Follow enemy movements. Da da da. Reset tutorials. There we go. Okay, so that stuff. We're just gonna start a new game. Oh yeah, Hall of Fame. No existence yet. No Hall of Fame people yet. So shocking. New game. So presets. Oh, it's set to custom right now because I was playing with stuff earlier today. Uh, let's see, wizard picks. We've got 12 wizards available to us. I don't know what this, I don't remember what this means. I don't remember what that is. How many points you can spend on spellbook? Oh, okay, so there we go. So it's how many points you start off with. This will make, the lower points, if you go under 12, you're just screwing yourself, I think, so. Don't do that. Starting gold, 120, sure, why not? This seems middle of the road. AI skill, beginner advanced skill, leave it advanced. Number of AI wizards, four of course. Neutral armies, be advanced, so one level of beginner. Their defense, same difference. Magic intensity is 1.5. How much power is gained for each controlled power node? So one and a half points for that, special events. So they, they added events to the game. Some of it, I mean, there were already events in the game, in the old version, but just added some. So all the original ones unmodified, original updated or updated and new events. And that's the one we're gonna be doing. Battle movement cost is two, is that right? Maximum cost is two. Set as a maximum cost of movements over difficult terrain battle. Okay, so maximum cost is two. World size, it was on small. I put it on large because who wants to play in a small world? Yes, books and skills. <laughs> Gotta remember that too. Initial economy is normal. Okay, so that's page one. Add a static starting hero. Mm, Bashan. Why Bashan? We'll go without a hero starting. So, continue. Now for the fun part, building your wizard. So they got the preforms. Um, now, didn't they add a new wizard? I couldn't figure out which one was the new one. Because Kali, I remember. Uh, Talak, I remember him too. Ariel, I remember her, I think. Oris, I don't think is new. Freya, is Freya new? No, Freya was in there too. Toron, I think Toron was there. Sisra, he's been there. Or Jack, he's been there. Oberic. Uh, I think he's not new. Jafar, I don't think he's new either. Lopan, maybe. Cherie, I don't think she's new. Raven, I don't think that's new either. I know Merlin isn't. 
Hmm. Anyway, we're doing custom because we never do. We never do pretty builds. That's no fun. Yeah, they look like all the original ones. I thought they added a wizard, but I don't notice any of them that they all look like they belong there. So I don't know if there's any new ones there or not, but I could have swore that was they're supposed to be. But anyway, you can uh, put your own name in there, whatever portrait you're going to go with. And of course, we're going to go with Merlin because why not? And then the fun part, building your wizard. So, uh, the traits over here on the Hello, left. Hello, everyone. Just a second. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you, and happy Tuesday. So again, this is where you build your wizard, and um, these trait points, some of them don't open up until you have spellbook selected. Um, you have 12 picks total. Each spellbook is one point, um, and again, these have different uh, costs, one or two depending on what they are and what's the significance of the spell books the more spell books you have the more power you have in that particular school so um let's see so each spell book adds one power each starting spell book adds plus two to casting skill and every spell book above the seventh adds five percent to the research points invested into deciphering the spells of that domain so if you go seven what is it that seven can't tell so that would be seven right yeah seven because i can do math 12 minus seven is five so above the seven so you have to go up to eight and now we'd have a bonus of five percent to our research points and deciphering spells blah 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 and also reduces their base their casting cost by five percent as well let's go full lich well, you can go full book books here, but then you have no characteristics over here, and that's nice, not necessarily recommended. Also, if you look at the, if you have the link that I, do I have the link to the manual? It's still there. There it is. Anyway, that's the link to the original manual. And if you go all the way down to the end of the list and into the, basically the appendixes basically there's one of the tables in there it tells you what um, spells you get access to based on how many books you have um, also if you're making artifacts and that kind of stuff that is affected what powers you can put on items is based on what books you have as well so it's always fun to keep that stuff in mind sure you're not playing master of puppets and pulling our strings i am gray you just don't know it because you know Welcome back. Nikki's twitching. He's rubbing his head on the ground. Is that normal? It is normal. <laughs> it's normal, believe it or not. His ear is itching him. It's normal. His ear is itchy, that's all. That's why Rocket's looking at him weird. Anyway, so. So you got different uh, spell books here, of course. You got life, death, chaos, nature, and sorcery. Uh, chaos is really fire for the most part um, sorcery sorcery uh, life is tends to be more towards uh, protective spells and healing death is kind of the opposite chaos is all about you know being destructive uh, nature is nature you got a combination there. nice it's a utility uh, book typically it has a little bit of everything in it and sorcery is kind of the same idea but more more magic instead of nature and what's really funny is if you were alive back in the early 90s there was or you may have maybe heard of this little card game called master of magic no not my sorry not master of magic um crap what the hell is the name of it it's not master of magic that's this game um shit what's the name of the card game magic the gathering there we go magic the gathering it's funny is because this game has a lot in common with the uh, magic the gathering the the five you know the five schools and this kind of stuff and the general idea is that this game was based off of magic the gathering because magic the gathering was really coming into really high popularity in the early 90s 
like uh, 92, 93, and that kind of stuff. And this game came out at 94. I don't think it's co coincidence, but, um, you know, so they have a, they have some things in common, we'll just say. Hey, it's enough again, we'll go back. And Lord Sloth, welcome to the stream. What was the perk to start the other realm? Mirren. Mirren right there. We're not doing that, though. Okay, but anyway, we've got to continue building our, our wizard here. So we are going to go death, because why not? And then I usually like uh, Artisifer, so you can... Basically, it gives you a reduced cost on making items. And you also get access to enchant items and uh, create artifacts right away, right? Yep. So you get the enchant items and create artifacts right away. Although you don't have the magic to do it for quite a while. As a magic system is legally different from Magic the Gathering. Yes, legally different. Um, and then what did I want to do? Uh, we can do Infernal Power. That's always fun. You can only take this one if you have four books of death already. Um, what does this do? And to see, Unholy Influence dominates the Divine and increases the power gain and the pacifying effects, lowering unrest that the wizard obtains from all that religious holdings by 50%. So basically, it makes all the people in your cities more, you know, willing. Uh, let's see. But that's two points. Artificer was one. Conjurer, this is for summoning stuff. Archmage is a good one. Um, focusing on pure spell power increases the casting skill of the wizard by 10 and makes it twice as hard to dispel their spells. So there's a 50% bonus to all the power spent on increasing the skill. The wizard must have. Uh, uh, at least four spell books, so it could be any realm, any realm to get Archmage. Uh, what else would I get though? No mastery can't get because that requires chaos or sorcery. Oh, sorry, nature, chaos, or sor sorcery. Oh no, you have to all throw. Sorry, never mind. Sage mastery. So you need at least two spell books in two different, or one spell book in two different realms to get sage mastery. What does it get you? Uh, let's just claim 25% more research points from all sources. So we take one more one more of these, we can pick up uh, Sage Mastery. I don't know if I want to. Uh, mana Focusing. Uh, Master of the Law. That fuels all magic and increases the mana obtained from power by 25%. Conjure we really looked at that one. I think we can go Archmage. So Archmage and do another. Hmm. What do we get from... So this would be 10 books of death, death. I think that's everything. Let me look at the major real quick. Or the manual real quick. <laughs> boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy... I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. So again, I'm looking for what does 10 spellbooks get me for death? I think it's the same for all of them, right? Problem is I don't know what page it's on. All the tables. Okay, number of spell books. So 10 spell books gets us total uh, common spells of 10, 10 uncommon, 10 rare, 10 very rare spells, and 30% reduction on number and types of guaranteed spells. What does that mean? At higher levels, when you choose a greater number of books in a particular spell category, which gains expertise in researching and casting spells, this translates to a reduction in the researching and casting cost of spells of the category in which your wizard has eight or more. So what would you get at 11? Same amount of spells, but you get bonus spells. And a 40% reduction. I think 10 is good. I think 10 is good. Okay, speaking of good... Commander with a good attitude. Got his ass kicked. <laughs> By Hurricane of Ukruels. That is number one on your bingo card. And because you guys won, that's a free vote. So go to your bingo card and click a number. Okay, so next. So now we get the nine common spells. Nine. Wait a minute. I thought we were supposed to have ten.
Now we have all 10. Well then, so that table, so they either changed it Either they changed it or it's buggy. Or because I don't think the table is wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna stick with Archmage though. Because we don't need ten spells. Nine starting but access to all ten. Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh. Mm, it's not what the spell ring says though. It, oh, it's just total spells, not when you started. So if you have five books, you won't be able to research all of them. Right, I know that part. Yeah. Okay, so no big deal. It's it, Which is fine, because I actually didn't want weakness anyway. Saturday and Sunday, <laughs> December 17th and 18th are the monthly giveaways for December. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Tuesday. And again, that's this weekend for the giveaways. We can still hopefully find more books and spells in the ruins and such, if you're lucky. Okay, so which in common spell do we want? Uh, drain power. Uh, Death's uh, to retouch, rips in a hole, blah, blah, blah. Drains 50 to 150 drains 50 to 150 mana points from a target wizard and uh, the reserve. Do we get it? I think it's just drains it. Possession. Does it possess, possess the weak-minded? Target enemy normal unit or hero uh, becomes yours for the duration of combat and is destroyed after. Oof. I uh, like uh, lycanthropy. Target normal unit is changed into werewolves uh, who attack with melee and can regenerate and in and outside of combat. So it's a nice little buff for units. Uh, Black Prayer. All enemy units, uh, melee range, thrown, fire breath attacks, and and armor are reduced by one, and the resistance is reduced by two. Black Channels. Normal, hero, or undead creature becomes a vile undead with plus two melee attack strength, plus one range for for attack strength, breath attacks, hit points, resistance, and armor. So, yeah. Night Stalker. Summons a Night Stalker. That is invisible, and it strikes with the melee attack and brings doom to those who witness its death gaze. It will obey the wizard's command until death or banishment. Subversion. Uh, Whispers of Discontent reduces diplomatic relations of all wizards in contact with the target wizard. So screw your friends over, or not your friends. Wall of Darkness. Uh, darkness is erected and blocks any range attacks from the enemy, including magical range attacks. So that's a good little buff for uh, during combat for your cities. Berserk. Doubles melee attack strength. Shadow Demons. Group of plane shifting, regenerating shadow demons that can strike from the air with both melee and magic range attacks. They will obey the wizard's command until death or banishment. Oh, I love uh, uncommon spells. Um, but these are all, well, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them are, uh, you have to use mana to keep them on units and that kind of stuff. Um, I know this is, this is important. Hey, Ring, welcome back. I'm playing Chaos? No, actually, I'm playing Death. These are Death spells. See, it says right there at the top. This will buff any unit. Let's start with that one. And so that's our first three spells. Rare spells are not available because your wizard does not have enough spell books in this realm. To select the rare spells, you need at least 11 spell books. Oh, well, shit. That's going to change our ideas here, isn't it? Zombie Mastery. And all normal units, not heroes, slain in combat or tra transformed into zombies under your control. Well, by Archmage. <laughs> you want access to our rare spells. Uh, rack. A dark torture 
Now that seeks to torment the enemy from afar, each enemy figure in every unit must resist uh, each turn or of combat or take one point of damage. Uh, sure. Sure, we'll, we'll go with Rack. Okay, so now we get to pick our who we're gonna use. So barbarians, gnolls. We can't do the the mirror and races because we're not starting on mirror. Uh, gnolls, halflings, high elves, high men, clackons, the bug people, lizard men, nomads, or orcs. Should we go? Uh, let's go full out the uh, <laughs> evil. Hey, because Mrs. Gimpy's already home. We're running the, the dog cam. Anyway. Orcs. Lizard men? Lizard men are kind of slow, aren't they? I mean, they're good, but growth rate... Oh, their growth rate is fast. Building restrictions. Cannot build miners, guilds, sawmills. Uh, do they show... We don't get to see their units, do we? Oh, sorry. They get javelin ears and dragon turtles. They still walk on these to grow fast. They do grow fast. So they get. They don't have a shipwright's guild, so that means they walk on water. I think. Yep, they have water walking. Hmm. I forgot about that. The problem is that their units aren't spectacular either i mean the dragon turtle is nice but you're still a while off that see they miss out on the miners guild and all this other fun stuff too i don't know see this is a critical thing available building there for all normal units if this allows they get wyvern riders protection for the farmers there Production is half, though. Oh, sorry, that's for farmer. Production per worker. Hmm. What do the clackons do? Clackons are slow growth, so they're minus 10. Building restrictions cannot build a sage, guild, shipyard, or temples. How does that work? No shipyards. Other modifiers, they get resistance, more armor. All landing its uh, cost times two production. If your capital race is clack on, unrest in clack on cities is reduced by 20%. They get a stag beetle. Look at the production of their workers three. Oof. Clack on is Master of Orion. Well, oddly enough, Master of Orion and Master of Magic made by the same developer. Mm, yes, everybody hates them, though. High Elves led by a Dark Lord. Hmm, that's never been done before. Uh, cannot build Par Parthenon. Parthenons, Maritime Guilds. More resistance. Chance to hit with range. Force the skills for units except constructs, experiment, blah, blah, blah. Take longer to build, or sorry, more points to build. To provide power for every population. We get longbow, elven lords, and pegasus. Halflings? I don't like the halflings. Never have. They're really good farmers, though. Evil halflings. They're all evil by default, rules. And they're going to go. I don't know. This is men or high elves. That's really what I'm looking at now. Why the lizard men? Because they get to go out on the water right really early. But again, their units are kind of eh. They don't have any real. Do they have range? Yeah, they have javelin ears, which are okay. But these guys, they have longbowmen, elven lords, and pegasus. Elven lords are almost as good as paladins. 
Pegasus, of course, line unit. No, you can't select the ones on the right because these are mirror and races. You have to start on mirror if you want to have one of these races. Good with life magic and warlord for elite slinger bat. Yeah, if you want to go that route. I'm going to go high elves. Evil high elves. I am unknown, yet all will know me soon. The path to power begins. Your fortress is the capital. Sorry, your fortress in the path capital can shoot magic bolts at en attacking enemies. The bolts' power depend on the number and type of your spell books. So, death bolts. So once again, we are a nine <laughs> death spell books and artificer, meaning we can make artifacts from the very beginning. As long as you have the power to do it, which is, you can make the minor ones fairly early on. But uh, again, you can customize the uh, artifacts as you go, which is, I think, is the fun part of the game, in all honesty. Just basically gearing out your heroes for fun. <coughs> Mrs. Kimpy did come home, right? Then she left. Left. She walked back out. That's why Mickey's staring at the door. Oh, I missed the. Did I miss the boss fight? No, I didn't. We haven't had another one yet. Okay, welcome. I welcome you, Great Kimpy. If you could spare a moment of your time. It, it, for your lovely servant, I would like to present you with the world manipulators I prepared for your arrival. Turn on tutorials? Do we want to watch tutorials for people that aren't familiar with this game? Hey, Brexus, welcome to the stream. That's only one of them, by the way. That's just Mickey. Rocket is wandering around somewhere. Yeah, I think we'll do tutorial, just because some people may not know what the hell's going on. Okay, so, so far, dog camera is not interfering with anything. Sub bar is not really either at the moment. Maybe they changed something? Well, they did. Um, so, for those who don't know, this game is based off of Mag Master of Magic that came out in 1994. <coughs> Back then, the map, this, the world map was squares. It was a big square grid. It is now hexagons. Combat used to be a square grid. Now it's hexagons. So that's the big thing. And also when they they made some changes to the cities, they added a construction queue over here on the right-hand side. So this is new. It used to be you just clicked on the building you want to build, and when it was done, you had to come back here and you know click the next one. Now you can actually set up a queue. So that kind of stuff. So what do you want to build? They look strange, yet they look like they belong. The tutorial for the original was just to share share chances of operating nine four game on user interface. Eh, it wasn't that bad. You have the strategy guide. I never got the strategy guide. I still had the the box and the discs though, and the manual. This is your excellent. This your excellency is your glorious town. I will quickly show you around if you allow. Global taxes and arrest section, upper left hand corner, lets you decide uh, how the taxes for all the towns, high taxes, uh, yield more gold, blah, 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 but more unrest. Uh, unhappy citizens turn into rebels and do not work. This section, towns, over here shows you, or sorry, this section shows all your towns uh, along with all the current production, gold, they bring you population and unrest. So one whole town currently. Here you can find units that are currently stationed in the town. It's a good idea to keep some defenders. If your capital is conquered, you may lose it all. That's the lower left hand corner. The camera is sort of covering it, but you know, you're only like two units there anyway. So I, I don't think that'll be an issue in all honesty. So we'll see. I don't think it will be. 
Okay, upper right hand corner. Citizens. The citizens panel allows you to assign jobs to this town's populace. Uh, any non rebelling citizens who is not a worker will default to a farmer. Uh, it was pretty new and different for you. That was around 10 or 12. Huh? Oh, well, see, I was in my 20s. <laughs> Okay, so citizens. We currently have four citizens. We have two farmers, two workers, and no rebels. So as long as we keep everybody happy, so we're currently producing food. Six slash four. We need to feed the... Okay, so we're producing six food to feed four people. So we need to produce more food as we get more people. Come on. You weren't aware of this game until after you played Master of Ryan 2. Wow. We were all, yes, all. We were all so young. I was old enough to drink alcohol and almost get, well. Help, when this game came out, Vuku was, I had already suffered my motorcycle accident. So, yeah. Citizens panel allows you to, okay, we already saw that. This section shows you any resources in the town's uh, cash, cashment area. Uh, these resources provide various bonuses and are always good to have. So, again. Yeah. So this, in this case, we got mithril ore and iron ore. This goes over within range of the border of the city. Okay, Mrs. Gimpy just walked in the room. Let me talk to her real quick. Be right back. Okay, so looks like she's going to be around for a little while, so we will turn off the dog camera. Get rid of that for now. And there. M.T. Kaysen, welcome to the stream, and thank you for the follow. 15 when the original came out. I remember I asked for the game for Christmas, and I was allowed to take the manual out of the box early. <laughs> I think it did not to read that room for two weeks. Ah... <laughs> uh. Okay, so we have, uh, like I said, a couple of special resources in the range of the town, which is going to do what? Mithril. Uh, provides a plus one to power to the nearby town. Plus two, the town has a miner's guild. Additionally, if the city has an alchemist guild, all new units get uh, magical mithril weapons and plus one attack strength. And armor bonuses can be changed into silver using the transmute spell. Why would you do that? Iron ore. Reduces the construction cost of normal units by 5%. Can be changed into gold ore using a transmute spell. Gold, I think, produces more money. Right? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so that. Okay, last one. So the town manager in this panel shows you the construction queue of this town. Production speed depends on production points generated by your citizens. You can also use gold to speed things up. So, managed by familiar. No. So we can, let's see, we're currently, do we want to build a library? I don't think so. I don't want to build a library. Thank you, and I could say, if only I would take a moment, I only need to take a moment, uh, so move the map, WASD, or Zoom in, ours are out. Oops. Oops. <laughs> hmm. Now I'll use the keyboard. Yes, outfitting here has always been my favorite part, too. Okay, town. I actually don't want to build a library, I don't think. I stop it. Build. Ah, there we go. 
Okay, so what should we build? Uh, stables, armory, marketplace, shrine. City walls. Um, marketplaces do what? Taxable revenues. Armory. Unlock Unlike unit if race allows it. Unlocking building path if race allows it. So it requires... We already have that stuff. So stables. Just get us cavalry and tree something or other. Ah, here we go. So we get rid of the queue. Okay, so maybe library is the thing we want. I don't think so though. This is HR research. Hmm. This is critical stuff. Shrine, city walls, miners guild. Some more production, more mineral bonus. But not a build time there. So it's the quickest. A bag of My, water. Stretch quickest. your legs. That. You have been sitting in one spot for far too Stables. long. Actually, no. So fighters guild, halberders, smithing. Oh, we already have that. Stables gets us uh, high elf cavalry and animus guild. Oh, it adds more food. Yeah, let's do stables next. Okay, that's good enough for now. This allows you to set up a construction queue for this town. Blah, blah, blah. Hover over your wand over the units to see, learn more about them. Construction and great outbuildings. Okay, we know that too. So, so, hmm. It seems like I should, uh, to Catapult, Pegasi, High Elf Magicians, oh yes, them, Out oh, Settlers, okay, well, I'll let this run for a little bit and see what it gets us, actually, we'll just do the library, see what that gets us first, okay, so, build, missed it down, hey, okay, this one, I'll you construction queue, we looked at that, close that, Okay, next we did this. Left click to select a unit or location, right click to move selected army down the map. We already did that. Town management, we did that already. What's with the sparklies? Let's go this way and find out. Next turn. Each army will uh, ask for orders every turn. Double click on your city to view it and manage its production. We already did that. Okay. Yes, yeah, sparkles. Queue complete, constructed queue, and loader. Oh, can we change the name of the cities? I didn't even think about that. Look, research. Spells are essential part of your fight for arcane supremacy. You are to become master of magic after all. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, the the winning conditions are uh, conquer everybody or cast the spell of mastery, which takes a long time. Uh, spells are an essential part of your fight for arcane supremacy. They are okay. We already that. Uh, to expand your spell selection, you need to do research. The selection is limited to eight spells, but new ones will become available as you progress. Remember, the Spell of Mastery is your final goal, and it, it will only appear after you research most of your other spells. Acquiring new spell books will give you new spells to research. Research takes time. How much depends on the number of research points you produce and the spell's complexity. More powerful spells usually take longer. Now, <laughs> select a spell from the left page, and you can see details on the right. Uh, click the Research button to confirm. You will be no uh, notified when the work is complete. So, summoning circle, dispel magic, disenchanted area, shadow demons. Lots of turns involved with these spells. Um, summoning circle. 
Let's uh, to appoint a new place where the power will manifest. Uh, moves the location of your summoning circle to another city. The summoning circle will re return to the capital if the city is lost. Not a big deal to start of the game. The spell magic. A battle for, of the wizard's wills attempts to dispel enemy spells on one unit in combat. Disenchant the area, a powerful ritual against enemy magic, attempts to dispel all spells on the target map hex. In battle, this will always uh, this is always the hex where the combat is taking place. Look at the turns. <laughs> Look at all the turns. We're gonna go with the spell magic. Yes, Shadow Demons are strong. Summon Hero. Is that in there? I didn't even see it. It's a hundred turns to research that. That's a long time. We need more research power first. That's where we're building the library. Yes, we need more power. Always more power. So then we have spells to cast if we want, but we don't want. This book contains all spells you have learned just for so far, oh wise one. Uh, it may be a lot of pages flipping to find the spell you're looking for, but you can view the spells uh, from a specific domain. You uh, just use bookmarks. We don't have a lot of bookmarks. <laughs> In order to cast a spell, first select it from a, the left page. If casting uh, can be performed, you will cast the button here okay some spells can only be cast while on the world map others only during combat this is indicated here world spell combat spell some are both aren't they casting requires magical energy called mana uh, each spell costs mana to cast and some effects uh, need mana each turn for upkeep so yes so skeletons upkeep cost of one on the world map, casting time depends on your casting skill. The higher the skill, the more mana you can spend each turn. With high enough skill, so even some world spells can be cast instantly. That's much later in the game. In combat, casting is always instant, uh, but your casting skill limits how much mana you can spend during the entire encounter. So, so that's all spells. These are just our death spells. And that's... And these are what? Just arcane spells, so these are generics. Eh, well, not everybody gets access to, you have to research them. But because we're an ar um, artificer, we get um, both create artifact and enchant item from the very start. So if we really wanted to, we can create a magic item now, but we don't have a hero to give it to. And how much does it cost to uh, cast? It depends on what you build. And this is the cool part of the game, or cooler part of the game. You actually get to make magic items. Swords, wands, maces, miscellaneous, axe, plate mail, staff, chain mail, bow, shield. Aren't there rings and stuff too? I can change the appearances. Okay. Or is that the miscellaneous? Oh, here we go. So miscellaneous is a ring. So, what can we do? Bonuses, plus one uh, melee and range attack bonus, plus two melee bonus there, armor bonus, movement bonus, resistance. So this is, these are basic uh, items. Causes fear though. Each individual enemy unit engaging the feared in melee must uh, resist magic or uh, stand frozen in terror and uh, unable to attack even if swung upon. So it's a nice little item. So you can put fear. Cost 125 mana just for the fear. Two hundred and twenty-five for plus one to uh, attack and one to to armor. Dun, dun, movement bonus three let's turn that off. Resistance. I don't even know how much mana I have. So anyway, that's the generic spells. Magic Spirit is just a random summon. Of course, the, these are the death spells. Let's 
summoning spells, unit spells, other spells, all the spells. So these are all the spells we currently know. So we could summon some skeletons and ghouls, dark rituals, this does what? Doubles the power received from religious buildings plus one power, but it reduces city growth by 25% increases unrest by 10%. I don't think we want to do that right now. Night Stalkers are decent too, if I remember right. Train power, skeletons. So we can actually do skeletons right now. I don't think we need to. So we'll hold off. Because again, I don't know how much mana I have. Where is that? There's our gold. There's our mana. We have 30 mana, picking up three per turn. We're losing two gold a turn, though, because of the unit we have. So anyway, that. I think that's all I can really do this turn, because these guys can't really move, can they? No, they already moved. So we're going to end our turn and move Hello, on. everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Tuesday. So, oh, we have settlers, we have swordsmen. Oh, okay. Surveyor mode. Unsuitable site, there is a s existing town, so we have to go exploring before we can do any real surveying, I think. Oh, mirror. This is what the other plane looks like right now, because we haven't been there, but that's the other plane. Okay, so you've already found the end turn button, Your Grace. Uh, but there are still a few useful manipulators I want to bring to your attention. First, Surveyor. This handy tool will uh, tell you all you need to know about uh, if you hover over press tab to access it quickly. So grassland, grassland stuff. You should also know how to switch your view between our... We just did that. Your goal is to become master of magic. Uh, to do that, you need to either eliminate the rival ritual, or we already talked about that. If you need uh, more details in particular, then just hover the wand over and press blah. Okay. So you're going to let me move now. So settlers and them. Do settlers like build roads and stuff, or is that I'm thinking of a different unit? Special regions. So move, guard, wait. So special actions. Perform a special action, building an outpost, build road. Okay, so it is the settlers to do that. Okay, it's right click. Build an outpost, can't build a road. Decrease ground movement. Unit you know, with engineering skill is required to perform this action, so no, not you. Construct an outpost which turns into a hamlet after several turns. A unit with settler skills required to perform this action, so no, it's a different unit. I think there were magic roads too, or at least you could make them magical. I think. Press 8 to report a bug. I haven't found a bug. We're not playing Clackons. Okay, so you moved. Some caves are, are mere shelter from the elements, but some may hide a beast lair or even a treasure trove. Um, I don't think we want to go in there. <laughs> three war bears, three giant spiders, and a sprite. Um, 
don't engage. <laughs> on mirror, yeah, I think there they are. I imagine. Lots of stuff is different on mirror. Yes, it's fine for the bears, I'm sure. Okay, so you're done. So that's our turn. Enter. Enter it is. These are no mere urns. This is an old dungeon. Who knows what dark secrets it may hide beneath? But beware, there may be many dangers looking in the dark. Of course there are. Hellhounds. I don't think so. Oh, for me, says, Master, if you let me command your troops, these are the outcomes I predict. Death. <laughs> Win negligible losses. Win small losses. Uh... That's not very good odds, so we will not engage. Okay. Who's next? So what's this? So grass, I abandoned keep. Unsuitable uh, town site, tiles occupied right in the location. Oh, only need one. Whatever. Build some archers? I don't have any archers yet. Went there. This is another dungeon. What's this? Tower and keep stands before you. Perhaps that is the home of some mercenary force or a bandit lair. Whoever occupies it, surely there are treasures to be had. Bears again. 90% chance to lose horribly. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Do not engage. Whenever you get out of the space at this rate. Yes, the bears. So many bears. Mysterious caves. So many caves. What are we doing on building stuff? Is that right? 15 of 60. No, nine turns to go. Nine turns to go. So we could buy it at 135, but we are currently losing money. Okay. Keep looks grisly. Perfect starting location, apparently. Master, I come bearing gifts. I offer you a magic spirit. They are great scouts, and once you conquer a power node, they may meld with it and provide power for you. If you accept, I shall give you the, give the, give you the spirit, or consider your choices for another. Let's choose another. Choices. Take the spirit. Take money. Take mana. Ask for more information about the spirit and the power nodes? Uh, take the spirit. So now we'll have a spirit running around. It's going to eat up some of our mana, but... Eh. Hi, man. What are these guys doing? Oh, these guys, they want... They will join us. But how expensive are they? Probably just one. Upkeep is one. Gold and one food. Sure. You can join the elves. Killing stuff, maybe. You did it wrong. This is how you do it. Warg. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say. Jag. That's right, we've got two units. It wasn't one, it was two. No mere unit. What? No, no. I didn't send him there, I sent him here. Okay, let's keep his vacuum and be right back.
I think I'm back. Morning, Master. Your town does not produce enough food to sustain all your units. Perhaps you can only assign workers. That would be a good idea. So. So we're producing eight food. Oh, each surplus food is always turned into one gold. So how much surplus food are we gonna end up having? There's our tax rate. That makes people unhappy when you do that kind of stuff. So producing eight consumed of four, but it's not, it's consuming more than that. That number isn't correct, is it? Hmm. Enrage cute little kitten killed everyone. Good job, kitten. You are number three on the bingo card, number three. Okay. So you guys. So which one's this one? This is the dungeon with hellhounds. And that's the bears. Think we can take out the hellhounds with the, these three whips? Probably not. Mysterious cave. Let's go check out the cave. Shelter, stuff. Ah, it's just stuff. It's empty, won't hide a well hidden stash. We picked up 10 gold. Two war bears. Hmm. Maybe next turn, we'll see. Ghost. Sorry, spirit. Dungeon. Master, we found a power node. What are these, you ask? Magic nodes is a place full of magical power. Whoever controls it can tap into the power and grip it or gain it for itself or themselves. Nodes come in three variations nature, chaos, and sorcery, and are always protected by magical creatures and spell barriers of their domain. To conquer the neutral node, you first need to uh, defeat its protectors and then perform a special action called melding. Only two creatures can meld magic spirit and guardian spirit. Uh, these can be summoned with the appropriate spell. Be aware that even a melded node uh, can still be taken over by a rival wizard spirit. So is this a node? It's a dungeon. So, oh, the node's right there. So this is a chaos node. How do you know it's chaos? Because it's a friggin' volcano. <laughs> That's what that is. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so you're good. You guys already moved. Is there a way to change nodes? Um, I don't think so. I think they're pretty much set. Now, wasn't there a... So we got wizard info, cities, armies, magic. Ah, here we go, that's what I'm thinking of. So this is our way to change mana, research, and casting skill. It's so basically you're putting points into each one of these, more mana, more research, or more casting skill. Current casting skill is 22, it's picking up four per turn. So a little while from that, magic reserves, at or mana reserves at 54, research is at five per turn. Summoning a squirrel, a circle in 25 turns. 
Oh, and then you can transmute uh, money into mana and vice versa, but it's at a two to one ratio. Unless you're an alchemist, and then it's a one to one. But we're not an alchemist, so it's two to one. Enchantments we currently control on the world, on you. So, no big deal there. You tried to change the name? No, that's what I meant to do, didn't it? <gasps> you can. It's always Rocketville first. Ta da. So, I was not. I didn't. I don't know if you do that in the old version or not. I don't think so. Skills Pua, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Can we rename heroes? I don't know yet, we don't have one. 13 tar oh that's right, we lost, lost production because we picked up, uh, we had to use food. Now taxes, to upkeep, upkeep, oh, okay, so there's a unit upkeep. So that's fine, that's killing us. Where's our food? Towns, other income, four. Upkeep is four. Total value, zero. Used to feed your armies. If food supplies fall below zero, units will be disbanded. Excess none. Okay. Um. If food supply does not meet that, each two surplus food is turned into one gold. So we actually are making one gold off of this. Okay. Hmm. If you can name heroes, you want to be a lich. I don't think there's a lich, Rukrules. There might be, but I don't think there is. Isn't there? There's no lich hero. I don't think there is, at least. Next turn. Okay, see if we can beat up on some bears. Any undead hero? I don't know if there's even an undead hero, to tell you the truth. I don't remember who all the different heroes are. I know there's a bunch of different ones, but I don't think any were undead. Oh. <laughs> this is not a... I thought we were going to do better than this. But apparently our swordsmen are not that good. Because the bears do seven damage as opposed to our would be three, armor of two, they've got armor of three, so yeah, we will not do this fight. Yeah, they're all rookies too, which doesn't help. It's an old dungeon. So giant spider versus a spirit. That's going to be a loss too. Because it's four attack, three defense. This is five attack, four defense. This is it the health thing? Ten versus ten. Five and four versus four and three. Yet this is a 60% loss? Wow. That's not... I thought magic spirits are a little bit tougher than that. Okay. Scout away. You need an archer. You can ask for archers all you want. Doesn't mean you're going to get them. <laughs> What's this? Tower of Chaos Wizardry. Unsuitable town site is occupied by another. Tower of Chaos Wizardry. No, you're not going to let me go in there now? Fine. I thought we... Oh, they started the turn. That's right. Never mind. Next turn. Maybe tower to go to the plane. Um, we have to defeat what's ever in the tower first, if I remember right. And we're not defeating anything at this rate. We can't even beat up a couple of bears.
with being rather well defended. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm not real big rush to get there. I sure increases town income by 10%. Let's go see what's in this direction. No? Yeah, suck. Fallen Leaf. Defenders Unknown and Fallen Leaf. Unsuitable Town Tiles. So that's a town there that we could conquer that would be awesome. Cornberry. Cornberry has four halfling soft swordsmen, two halfling bowmen, and the slingers. I don't think we're going to be taking that anytime soon either. Hey Gimpy, 11 have turns. you hydrated lately? I swear this is going on. If not, you really should. Mine is 62, we're at 30. We're, we're doing horribly here. Her assassins. Uh huh, Kaysen. The puns. The puns. So I just pressed a button I probably shouldn't have pressed. Two high elf spearmen, so we could take that town with our army of three. Take them forever to get down here, but they can do it. So we have six turns before, no, seven turns before we go broke. And we have a rebel. Well, how do we get a rebel? What's their problem? Because we have nobody protecting the city? Is that what the problem is? This is going well. <laughs> this is going well so far. So yes, just queue him up on his move for a little while. Meanwhile, we get to explore some more. Because once that library is done, it's gonna now we can buy it, but no we can't. It's grayed out. Bad neighborhood, obviously. Oh. 
forests and stuff. Go settlers. Ah, except for this desert stuff. Or is it? Yeah, it is desert. So half food on the desert. turn they might be able to take this city. Maybe. So, 80% chance to win this with the negligible losses, so, because it's only high elf spearmen against our high men swordsmen and high elf swordsmen, so we will engage, because we haven't done combat yet. I see you have chosen to lead your troops. I see you have chosen to lead your troops personally, a great one. A few words of advice for me, if I may. Defending. A uh, group is on the left and the attacking group is on the right. Defenders always go first and they uh, win if they are not defeated within 50 turns. During your turn, you can issue orders and, uh, to units you control in any order. Each unit has a limited number of actions so that is used for both movement and attack. Wizards, can't participate. Wizards that participate in battle can cast spells once per turn. You can do that too, provided you have enough mana. Spell power and the right spells, of course. Click this button to see your spellbook. Sometimes enemy forces can be too strong, and if that uh, may be wise to retreat rather than face death, be warned that escaping may also result in heavy losses. If you need an additional explanations about battle mechanics, look at the notes I prepared for you. Oh, and almost forgot, if you'd like to get detailed information on any unit, uh, click on it with left mouse button. So, those guys. So unit level whatever melee attack one armor two health sorry hits one. Oh, but that's per unit so and there's what eight units in there as opposed to our six okay so what kind of cool spells can I cast flee auto combat combat log Magic. So, <laughs> terror, cloak of fear, weakness, life drain. Oh, life drain. Or rack. Oh, we can't do rack. We don't have the mana for that. Life drain. There's line of an enemy unless they are resist. Uh, when every point above the units is damage, add minus one to the roll for every five mana spent and kill units. Killed units may change into undead. Sounds cool. Let's do that. So, resist lowering. Lot of mana. Where's our mana total? Oh, down at the bottom. We have 82 mana to spend. So we'll just do one. See how that goes. Did it work? I don't think that worked. I don't think that worked, because that should have, you know, killed things. Oh well. Should probably check their resist. Is there any combat log? I don't see one. Is there a combat? There is a combat log. Oh, way over here on the left. Cast life drain on the side of zero. It, whatever reason, it didn't do anything. Good damage to it. There's a log there. It could be smaller text. Try again. It's only mana. 
life drain. Cast here. Oh, we can only use so much mana per, per turn or per battle. So let's try again. So it's not working. Either they're making the resist. Oh, they have six resistance. That's why. Ability to withstand effects of enemy attacks and spells. Each point increases the chance to resist but such effects by 10%. And we didn't reduce it, so it's 60%. And the first one is 50, because we only reduced it by one. So, that's the problem. They're very resistant, because, you know, elves, in comparison. Saturday and Sunday, two, four, December 17th and 18 are the monthly giveaways for December. Six, so. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Tuesday. So these guys, melee attack, hit chance, large shield, and turn or move. Everybody can only move one square, right? Or hex. I can move two, so you stay there. We'll let them come. Let's see if they move up here, then they can attack. Let's find out. <laughs> the sound effects. You looking for a rocket? Okay. Just a second. This is Gimpy. He wants to talk, take the dogs out for a walk. So, and rockets underneath my desk, of course. Don't die. Can you lower the volume of sound effects? I don't know. Not from this screen, I can't. Kill him, you human scum. So, not too bad. We win. Okay, so fallen leaf, nearby resources. Population, whatever. Buildings there, high elves. Last you've conquered the settlement, now you can decide it's fake. Raise or keep? We are going to keep it. Okay, like I said, uh, I gotta help Mrs. Gimpy real quick. I'll be back in a minute. Thanks for watching.
Mrs. G Gippy hates me so much. <laughs> she she picks up the leashes and the dogs go and Rocky goes running in here. I pick up the leash. She comes to me. She hates me so much. <laughs> okay, so can we turn down the audio stuff? So, sound effects. I'm guessing that's sound effects. Let's see if this helps a little. Okay, so, new town. Uh, housing. How much housing do they have? They have four, three people total. They're producing enough food for the population. <sighs> Plus one. Um, da -da -da, building stuff. So housing first or something else? Barrick Smithy, what's the Smithy get us? Looks building path that brace allows it. Blah, blah, blah. Smithy can develop and produce quality weaponry. So that gives you the swordsman. Barrick. Oh, you need that for other stuff. A builder's hall. Where your workers gain the knowledge of the craft effect. Plus 15% to housing. Unlock building path that brace allows it. Um, sawmill. Car is a forest within range. Do we have a forest within range? We do. That'll take 34 turns. Barrack is 10. So. We could pick up another population, though. Get more construction. So we'll just build housing for now until we pick up a... What's the familiar one to do? He wants to do that. I don't think the familiar is real smart. Like I said, we'll build housing for now. And we can, okay, so we can actually see what they're building to from here. So it works. Okay. So the armies, I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, and we can change the names too if we need to. I don't know what we'd name it though. So what do we have in range? So forest. That forest doesn't look very green. Oh, we'll but there's a river running through there. So food, construction, three percent bonus. We've got some silver here, which provides uh, plus two to gold. Uh, to the nearby town can be changed into mithril or using the transmute spell. So that's getting us money there once we have people to take advantage of it, I guess. More forest. More forest. So bonus to the construction because of the forest, but not so great for the food. This, these have bonus to food because of the river. Okay. Uh, Mr. Settler. This way. Of course, I put the elves next to the desert. And this town has a problem with rebellion. We have nobody doing construction, so this library is never going to get built. Yeah, we have actually some extra food production now because of that town. What is our total food production? Zero. That doesn't make sense, does it? Best place to be building a town there. Mr. Spirit. Oh, look, a swap with Nightshade. 
Uh, cities with shrines, uh, sages' guilds, or animus guilds, or their replacement uh, building. He uses Nightshade to automatically cast a spell magic against all city enchantments and global spells directed against the city every turn. Each Nightshade has a separate uh, chance to spell negative enchantments every turn. Also on the shore. So you guys. Yes, Nightshade. We'll leave the elf and swordsman behind and let these guys do a little bit of exploring so we don't run into the same issue up there without having a, nobody, no militia basically to protect the city. Guard. Wait. Guard. So six turns. Hey, we got, we're actually making money now. We can actually buy this off, this library. But if we do... It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. So maintenance is going to be one. So if you spend all our money <laughs> on, a, on a library, it's going to take all our money and, and, and our income. So we'll be making no gold whatsoever. But we're making research. But then we can switch over to building housing, I think. Sure. And then next we'll do housing. Do a decimal system implementation cost before cost more than expected. Apparently. Next turn. What's this? That's finished construction. Yay. So you just stay there. Your favorite air supply song, making research out of nothing at all. <sighs> You're Mr. Pun Guy, aren't you? Fallen Temple. So how much housing, how much does this actually do? So, this is the city's population growth rate. Where do we see that actual number? There's our unrest, there's our income, power, research. There we go. So plus 151. I think it's at what every thousand is a person, I think. Yeah, every thousand is going to be because we're currently at five. So we hit uh, 6,000, which is two turns away. Fallen Leaf is. six to seven turns away from getting a level, or another population to play around with. Send them back over here. 
And we're going to send one of these guys to play militia over here, I think. Next turn. Not yet to go yet, or still. We have to explore it this way. So this is a sorcery node, I think. Yep. So hitting enter just cycles through the units that haven't moved yet, which is useful. safe in there. Okay, so town. Four turns until... Uh, a little over four turns, I think. Until we get... No, so if we look, let's go five for next uh, population. And this has an extra one now, too. So... So we have extra food currently, which gets us money. So we're plus one, yay. Let's see. So about five turns until another population, or build something else. Stables. Stables have a no maintenance. No, sorry, that sounds like marketplace. Maintenance of one, but increases uh, taxable revenues of the city by 50%. Do we have revenue? <laughs> What's our revenue? Sage Guild, City Walls, Miners Guild. That's three upkeep, though. So, what's going to actually make us money? The Marketplace, the Shrine doesn't, Sage's Guild doesn't, City Walls doesn't. revenue by 50%. Our revenue currently is 1. Hmm. Hey, Gwydion, welcome back. How much of that mass... So how much have you mastered that magic? None, really. None, really. I'm just going to build some more houses. More population, I guess. Yeah, we need to master the gold first. Now, we can bump the taxes, but the problem is that it affects the unrest, but that's a pretty big jump in money, too. So I think what we'll do is we'll wait until that uh, unit gets up here. Those guys. And we'll bump up the taxes a little bit so we don't have as many, you know, people bitching and complaining about taxes, maybe. Ah, may the grace of life be with you, fellow whispered. Ha ha. I am Ariel, and it is good to finally meet you. Uh, know this, my word is my unbreakable bond, so long as we both show each other respect, we shall remain civil. I would like to discuss the subject of treaties. Treaties are the basis of awful relations, so let us discuss them. Which agreement interests you? Prepare for war. <laughs> Start an alliance, that's not going to work. Research treaty, or trade treaty. So to start treaty lasting 30 turns or trade treaty. Gives us both. How about a, see if she goes for an alliance. No, this does not interest me. Okay. How about research? No. Trade? 
No. Uh, okay, then. Let's trade. Trade mana. They've got not they're not there's nothing to trade for them. We'll talk to you later. Just turn them all on dead? Well we tried that before and it didn't work too well against the elves. Yes, negotiations went incredibly well. At least we didn't start a war. Oh, I was going down here, wasn't I? She was poorer than us? Probably. We're still pretty early in the game. You guys are exploring. Oh, look, another city. Three high elf swordsmen. So, not as easy as the other town. And what did we learn about f from fighting the elves last time? It's really hard to turn them, to hurt them and turn them undead because they're stupid high resistance. So, what does that mean? They probably susceptible to arrows in the face. What's this? I just have leveled up just from walking around. Go settlers. Excellent, says your advisor. I feel uh, obligated to point out that some of your towns are not defended. Really? Even in peaceful times, there may be bandits roaming around if any other, another army marches into an undefended town, it is likely immediately lost. Consider training a unit or summoning a magical creature to provide defense. Sometimes even a single unit with the help of your powerful spells can prevent disaster. I think. So you guys defend settlers, keep exploring. Right click, not left click, right click. Some of the archangels are even better. Oh, uh, demon lords are better, Bukros. Although we don't get demon lords, um, what do we get? <laughs> if we don't get demon lords being to death, that's a chaos thing. We get demon lords like that. No, we don't. No, what do we get? It's not demon lord. What the hell is it? I know we get a. There's a powerful undead unit you can summon, but I can't remember what it is. This, I think, is a tower. Bandit keep. Or it just might be a, a tower. Death knights? Uh, I don't think. I don't think it's a death knight. It might be. Draco Lich? No, it's not a Draco Lich. A Lich King, I don't think it's a Lich King either. Demon Lords are a thing, but they're chaos. Wraiths are something we can't as assemble, as, as summon, but I don't think they're that high level stuff. I mean, they're good, but they're not the highest level for the undead. I don't think. Yes, Wraiths are definitely strong. But they're no demon lord. Can I see the spell book? Magic. Doesn't help me. Spells. There we go. So. There's our summoning circle. That's researching spells, though. Already doing that. So, I like the little blue thing around the... This is uh, how much long... We're three quarters of the way uh, researching summoning circle. Casting spells. Some of these spells we currently know. So you could summon skeletons or ghouls. To help out with stuff. Ghouls. Someone's pack of ghouls that will obey the wizard's command. Any unit slain by ghouls has a chance to rise as undead creatures. Upkeep costs one mana. 
We already have the, the spirit out there. Demon Lord is from death? Oh, I thought it was chaos. Here, somebody look it up. <laughs> See what the, the big summoning spell or summoning spell is for a death. At least that's the man that's the, the manual from the original game. So these guys are here. Defend. Oh look, Hyman Swordsman leveled up. So did they. You're reading from it. Okay. So that means that so it is the high level. Demon Lord one, death fifteen, twenty ten, blah blah blah. Flying life stealing attack on both range and melee weapons, causes fear, can summon three demons during battle. So, demons. demons aren't shouldn't be death though. Not to be picky. Uh, barbarian. So there's Ariel sitting. I keep saying for where it's the home of some mercenary force or bandit stuff. And this is a. So air elementals, phantom warriors. So this is a tower to the other uh, dimension, I think. Death knights are good. They're like paladins, but better. Because they're already dead. You are defending. So now we don't have any rebels in this town too. So that means we can do stuff. Uh, let's see, like actual build things. What should we build? Staples, armory, marketplace. City walls, 26 turns there, 14 on stables. Stables will give us cavalry and the access to the Animus Guild. Armory. Hollider, Harvard Gears, Fighters Guild. Basic fighting tech. All new troops start as regulars. Plus one for recruit. Unlock building path stuff. Great. Oh, the Drake is for chaos. Okay. So the Animus Guild gives us more food. Reduces unrest, allows you some nightshade, and doubles the healing rate of the units inside. Let's do stables next. The mirror situation is. So we're still what, three turns away from another population. So that gives more workers to build more stuff, so we'll keep that on that. Settlers. Looks like this might be the tip of the continent here. Nope. Another ancient temple. There's our summoned ghouls. Okay, so poor little spirit. Let's go this way. There's our ghouls. So, what do we want to do with the ghouls? Have them in the spirit meet up and go do stuff. Actually, what does this ghouls actually do? Yeah, 
you find detailed information about a particular unit. A statistic, a statistic hit points, all the other fun stuff. On the left, you can see the check the units. Uh, race, experience points, spell book for casters, and equipped items for heroes. If you deem a unit's upkeep too expensive, you can disband it by pressing this button down there. And finally, in this area, you can see special skills. So, creates undead, kill stuff, creates undead. Natural enchanted weapons, plus one to hit. Cold immunity, poison immunity, illusion immunity, death immunity, and poison one. So ghouls. So four on the melee attack, no range. Armor three, resistance is six. Four of them in combat unit, three hits each. No ammo, stuff, two movement. Okay, so. I think you should meet up with the spirit. If possible. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Huh? Okay. Go get some more water while you are up. Your next break is in two hours. Hmm. What's this? A nature note. Okay. Keep going. Okay, so I am going to get up, stretch my legs, get some water real quick. Um, be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, enjoy the dog video. Be back shortly.